Welcome to Lecture Online, and now let's turn the tables around a little bit. Now we're given the focus and the directrix, the equation of the directrix, and we're supposed to find the standard form of the equation and graph the parabola. Okay, so in order to do that, let's write down the standard form of the equation, the general form, and that would be the quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. So that means I need to know what p is, what h is, and what k is equal to. So here we can tell that the vertex is hk, but they don't give us the vertex, but they do give us the focus. And we know that the focus, in general, is equal to h. It has the same x-coordinate as the vertex, and it would be k plus p. All right, so that means we know that the, that the x-coordinate of the vertex and the x-coordinate of the, of the focus is equal to 2. So therefore, we can conclude that h is equal to 2, which means we already know one of the three unknowns in the equation. Now we need to find k, but we don't know what k is. We do know what k plus p is. We do know that k plus p is equal to 0, because you can see that the, that the focus is at h and k plus 2, so therefore k plus, uh, I should say k plus p, so k plus p must equal 0. All right, that's not enough to find out what either k or p is, but we have a second way of looking at it. We can look at the directrix, and we know that the equation of the directrix is equal to k minus p. So we know that k minus p is therefore equal to negative 2. So now we have two equations and two unknowns, so we are able to solve that one for either k or p. Let's just go ahead and add the two equations together. So we have k plus k is 2k p plus a negative p is 0, and a 0 plus a negative 2 is negative 2, so therefore k is equal to a negative 1. All right, now we have found the second unknown, k. Now that we know what k is, we should be able to figure out what p is out of one of these two equations. So we can then come over here and then say that k plus p is equal to 0. We know what k is equal to, so negative 1 plus p is equal to 0, and therefore p is equal to 1. All right, now we know h, k, and p. We're now ready to plug those into our equation. So here we have x minus h. h is equal to 2. So we have x minus 2 squared is equal to 4 times p. p is equal to 1 times y minus k, and k was equal to a minus 1. So simplifying that, we get x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4 times y plus 1. And there's our general equation or the standard form of the general equation. Now, we want to graph this, so let's go ahead and put down the x and y axis. And we have to find the vertex. Now the vertex is at h and k, so let's go ahead and write that down. So since the vertex is equal to the coordinates h, k, and we know that h is equal to 2, and k is equal to negative 1, so that would be the location of the vertex of the parabola. So that would be 1, 2, and negative 1. So that would be right about there. So there's our vertex. Okay, now we need to know the location of the focus, which is given to us right here. It's 2 and 0. So that means 1, 2, and 0. So that would be the focus. So let's put an F along that, and let's put a V around that. And now we need to know the equation of the directrix, which is y equals negative 2. So that would be at negative 2 down here. So that means that this line right here represents the directrix. So here's the vertex, there's the focus, there's the directrix, which means the parabola should open upwards like this, and should open upwards like this. Again, with the same concept, that any point on the parabola is the same distance away from the focus as it is from the directrix. And that looks pretty good right there. And so there's the graph. Let me label some of the points. So the vertex is at 2, negative 1, the focus is at 2, 0, and the directrix has the equation y equals negative 2. And there's your parabola, and there's the standard form. And that's how we do that.